Lancaster back with a classic scrape. Oh, lovely music for it. <laughs> Very nice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. We didn't, we didn't run through what the music was going to do. As soon as it came in, I was like, like Dead. Yeah, I'm about to tell a scrape. <laughs> said this. So, James Acaster, it's slow reggae. Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what I think of you is what I think of. Yeah, this is how I want to be remembered always. Because it's what I was walking to. Uh, scrape this week, right? This is because of that, that text uh, texted about the loudspeaker yeah. and what things p- people have heard over Tannoy. And also, a lot of people always say, James, you're getting so many scrapes, but. Doesn't seem like Josh gets into any. Well, Josh does when he's with me. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, sorry, this is a few years ago, and uh, me and Josh were on a train to Leicester. Yep. Also, he's put out before we'd even uh, left the station uh, in, from London, uh, oh, yeah, a, young, a young man walked over to us. And you don't get this very often these days, but we, we, we were sitting on a, a table of four with two empty seats, and this young guy came over to us with a, he had a, a cardboard tube under his arm, and he went, yeah. Hi, boys. Which you don't get very often, don't you? No. <laughs> How's it going? Like, yeah, pretty good. He went, <laughs> he, he, he went, you look like a couple of nice fellas. <laughs> like, Thanks very much. Can we get what you're charged? Uh, I've been to London. So like, yeah, well, we all have, because we're about to, <laughs> about to leave London, mate. <laughs> that is not a conversation starter. But, uh, uh, okay. he went, he went, he went, guess what I was doing there? Don't know. I was uh, presenting a, a talk about wind energy to some uh, <laughs> possible... Uh, <laughs> Some people who could give money to my charity. And then he just opened up the cardboard tube and got out a poster, which had loads of pictures of windmills. He went, what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. He went, lovely. Lovely. That. He could get loads of wind energy out of them. I was like, yeah, I know, I know. And okay, he was like, well, this is great. And that's, that's what I've been talking to him about anyway, so fingers crossed. Uh, and he looked at our two seats next to us and he realised we weren't really up for chatting, so he kind of went, well, see you later. And then, and then, and then he sat... Like across the aisle, so we're still there, but like with his cardboard tube. <laughs> we're like, well, we've we du- we ducked out of that hell. Will you be filmed for like some kind of European prank show? <laughs> <laughs> Behind this the song? plant, you can see a camera popping out. I mean, low key joke, so, having shown some pictures of some windmills. <laughs> it's their version of Trigger Happy. The, <laughs> the windmill poster guy. <laughs> right next to in cafes. All right, just having, having a coffee, are you? Hey, guess what I've been doing? <laughs> Look at this. What do you think about that? Slightly confused at most. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Here we go. In Norway, they love that. <laughs> yeah. That is overly friendly. Uh, but so he sat there. Then the train, the train got moving. Mm-hmm. L- lovely journey for the first. I don't know. Let, let's say an hour. Yeah. We had, we had, we had a lovely time of it. And then suddenly uh, the train jolted quite heavily, and uh, we saw like uh, rocks. Uh, rocks just flying either <laughs> side of the train out of the window. Yes. Right. A few rocks flying in the air. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then even more rocks. And then the rocks started arching over the train and smashing the windows. <laughs> and the tra- whole, whole carriage started shaking. The whole train was shaking. Uh, and and we then- were on a very high bit of rail. Like, we were yeah. above... There was a lot, big way to fall. Yeah, it was quite, we, 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 and we, our chat that we were having slowly kind of like stopped. And then I remember just <laughs> holding away on from the, wind farms. We, we both held onto the table uh, with, with, with like two hands and just looked at each other, eye contact, thinking, this is the last person we'll see before. <laughs> it's Josh Winnicom. Um, okay. So, my, and then eventually the train stopped. Yeah. And uh, I was just sitting there trying to figure out what had happened. Uh, also, and at this point, because then we're, we're going, oh, we don't know how long we're going to be here for. Uh, spoiler alert, we were there for five hours. Uh, and, uh, which is not good, because uh, during the first 30 minutes, guess who came back to talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> Just came along, oh, yeah, that's, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here, do you? I'll show you this. Uh, but, uh, but the... Basically, we didn't know what had gone on, and the announcement that was made on, on the tannoy uh, that came over was... <laughs> uh, this guy went, uh... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, um, just had a bit of a problem. Uh, basically, the, uh, the the wheels that, uh, <laughs> that run the train uh, on, the, on the tracks, uh, they've, they've fallen out. They've fallen off. And, uh, uh, but don't worry, don't worry, the train is not on fire. <laughs> which is not, it's something, none of us had raised that. No, no one had bought, uh, there was no speculation. All you can think about is the fact that it might go on fire. Yeah, yeah, it's not on fire. By the way, in the background, you could hear the fire alarm. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Tra- it's not on fire. I like the idea he just start listing things that it's not. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not on the water. Yeah. It's not, not going to explode. No, no, no. Terrorists on the train. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not going to fill with yogurt. There yogurt. is a man, though, who won't shut up about wind energy. <laughs> There's a very boring man on board, though, so you might all want to watch out. Amazing. Um, I, it, it, he said, uh, I'll tell you what, though, there is, uh, what there is, is a lot 
of hot oil spewing onto a, <laughs> a hot axle, which is not <laughs> not what we wanted to hear <laughs> at all. Spewing. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then the, the, the next course of action was to send a, la- a member of the train staff down the aisle with a a, a packet of um, is it Fantastics or Tang Fastics? <laughs> Tang Fastics. <laughs> handing them out to people. Going, hey, have, you, have, you, have you had a Tang Fastic? <laughs> Oh, no, I'd love one. Uh, obviously, we're, we're, we're at the bottom of the carriage, so we know that by the time it gets to us, with cola bottles and that's it. <laughs> All those dinosaurs and stuff are going to be gone. Forget about that dream. But she went past a window that had smashed, and then she looked at me and Josh, and she looked back at the window, and she pointed at the window, and she went, when did that happen? <laughs> what? Uh, you know when the train derailed? <laughs> Yeah, then. That guy didn't get too carried, out, carried away about wind energy and start smashing windows during his speech. Unless she was completely oblivious to it. That was her job, just to hand out Tang Fastics. Yeah, yeah, she's completely... She's getting all the day normally. Her, her alarm What's goes off. I've got to hand out some Tang Fa... Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> Hot axle. That's amazing. I was, I was on a train once where it stopped in the middle of nowhere and then on the tannoy they said, uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we've had to stop because we just glanced a badger. <laughs> Uh, which I like to imagine they, they just saw one. <laughs> they had to slow down and have a look. Stop it. Nature is beautiful. <laughs> well, look out the right window. Uh, also, we had to be evacuated onto a rescue train, which is why it took so long for us to move off. And when we got on that train, um, the, the, the buffet was free on that train. And, and uh, one of the guys, one oh. of the passengers, got a Stella for free. And bearing in mind, he is now five hours late. His whole day has been absolutely yeah. ruined. He got this Stella and he looked over to his wife who was at the bottom end of the carriage and just did the most enthusiastic thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Like, this has all been worth it! I got a free... I told you! Every cloud! Every yeah. cloud! <laughs> the idea that he derailed the train himself on the off chance. <laughs> it was worth it, love! We should have put that brick there, you're right. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, well, that's why I don't hang out with you anymore. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Hey, uh, thank you, James. Another uh, classic scrape. Uh, it's genuinely brought it all flooding back. I remember also that the guy, um, the wind engine guy, was obsessed with 3G. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> he said to him, when the, when the train had derailed, he said to him, uh, has anyone got 3G? Has anyone got GPS? It's like, the, the tra- we are not lost. <laughs> that's not what's happened here. Yeah. I've been taking a wrong turn. They're like, oh, dear me. <laughs> Seem to have gone uh, into a field again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay on the track. Stay on the yeah. track. If you can't help it, it, it's where the badgers are. <laughs>